Democratic Party leaders from the 27th District responded to the GOP's efforts today to get Chris Collins off the ballot. I'm continuing our team coverage tonight with tough questions for the Erie County Democratic Party chair. The eight Democratic Party chairs of the 27th District held a conference call Tuesday talking strategy just as the eight GOP county leaders met at Batavia Downs to do the same. I caught up with Erie County Democratic Party chair Jeremy Zellner Wednesday. Could the Democrats end up filing a lawsuit to try to block the GOP from putting somebody else on the ballot? I, I know there's a number of lawyers looking at this situation right now and I think many of them believe that this is just not doable, that it's, a, it's fraud. We're keeping an eye on it and we, we think it's uh, something that everyone should be keeping an eye on. The GOP wants to replace Chris Collins on the ballot, and the two options are for him to change his residency to another state or run for another office. The law was not designed so that someone could get another elected official to resign their seat in office and then be able to put somebody who was just arrested last week back into that seat. What about the other option of Collins moving his permanent residency to another state. Again, it's kind of disingenuous when he, he uh, says on Saturday that he's going to remain in Congress through the end of the year. Well, if he moves out of the district and moves out of the state, he's got to resign his congressional seat. So wh which is it? Would the Democrats be upset if the GOP was trying to block you guys from putting somebody else well, on the ballot. Well, 10 years ago, there was a case of John Powers, who was on the Working Families line. And back then, the Republicans were adamant that he had to stay on that line. He could not move to Washington, D.C. And they took it to the State Court of Appeals. And, and the State Court of Appeals said, nope, he moved to Washington, that's okay. And then a federal judge came in and put a stay on him to keep him on the ballot. And so now they've, 10 years later, uh, decided that they, they think that there's no, there's, that Chris Collins can come off the ballot. Zellner also told me tonight that the national attention the district is now getting has meant an increase in financial resources and support for Democrat Nate McMurray.